Jimmy K here, Metal Voice. Look at this. The Metal Voice shirts are now on sale. Just go to the video description to find out on how you can purchase one. Metal! Welcome to the Metal Voice. Today on the show, we got two. Alan, who do we got today? Two for the price of one. Two Dirk Schneiders. <laughs> two Dirk Schneiders. Oh, Sven. Yeah. And, oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. So we get lots of exciting stuff going on in your UDO world. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so it's it's July 17th, the new album, We Are One, which is, yes. wow, it's orchestrated. I hear bagpipes. I hear yeah choirs. Tell us about the concept of orchestra and the concept of the story, please. Oh, okay. We <laughs> try to start. I mean, uh, first of all, this is um, a thing. Uh, we did two shows with the orchestra already. Uh, one in Wacken, that was 2015, right? Exactly, yeah. And then that was only 75 minutes, but the reaction was already... Amazing. Yeah. So, and also the sound on stage, you know, with the orchestra, there was like something, you know, there was, but there was the really feeling the energy and also was very loud. Right. I mean, oh, yeah. they are louder than us. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. And then we did a, <clears throat> then we did another show in 2018, uh, but that was two and a half hours long. So that was like, I also try to explain this a little bit, you know, there was like maybe 40% of metal uh, audience. And the rest was the audience for the brass orchestra, right? Yeah. So, and then this is, this is also not a joke. I mean, there was like um, older people like me. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, and they they were really standing up and clapping and singing, you know. And I think these this people they, they don't have anything to do with, with this kind metal, of music, no. with metal. So, and uh, about after this this concert. Um, yeah, we were sitting together, having beer, wine, whatever, and I uh, was talking about why we have to continue, and maybe it will be, the, and then the idea was born to make an album together, you know, but making an album together can be very easy, take the best songs of UDO and put an orchestra on it, no, <laughs> wrong, <laughs> and then we said, no, if we, if we want to do this, we create new songs, we write new songs, especially also already thinking that has to be together with the orchestra. Yeah, and then we start writing songs. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we had a meeting then with them. And there definitely these two guys, they're doing the arrangements for the orchestra. They was then selecting, we had 30 songs in a way. And then they said, yeah, this fit, this fit, and this not. And then here we go. We yep. start working on, on everything and, and then we gave them, yeah, let's say, the demo stuff. It was not really, really perfect. Uh, no, it was basic ideas. And then uh, they had already, you know, uh, a plan of what could go in this direction and this direction. And then there were songs where we thought, hey, should we really give it to them? Like, we strike back. Could be a bit fast for an orchestra. And then uh, one of the guys who, who does the arrangements, Guido Rennert, he was listening to that. And I think it was in Berlin. Yeah, Berlin, when we yeah. when we played them the, the ideas, he was like, that's my song. I want to do that. I need to do that. That's yeah. great. And uh, total fans of, you know, like this, yeah, double bass playing, fast guitar stuff, twin solos and, 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 and stuff like that. So they were, yeah, burning for... for uh, songs like that and uh, everything continued from there then we had several more meetings sending files back and forth and they showed us their ideas of how they uh, arranged the orchestra and i think we were really surprised when the first uh, when the first arrangement came and it was like wow, wow. yeah they hit they was right on the point and yeah. that was definitely yes yeah. it worked so but anyway uh, also uh, <clears throat> there are a lot of rock and roll and heavy metal fans yeah, in this orchestra <laughs> this is also something this is, this is the armed armed forces <clears throat> orchestra right yes yeah. yes, ah, yes that explains that's, it that's uh, very yeah. interesting yeah and then so in a way that took the, it took a year nearly a yeah. year before everything was done you yeah. know so there was a lot of work if what I can about, just add okay, to that, I, I love Navy Metal Night, the, your previous uh, albums with the orchestra, because you can tell that it was 
the the orchestra added it wasn't a compliment to existing songs and i and i'm listening to this album too i i mean i can't stop listening to this album it's amazing because it's a joint effort a lot of times when you see metal bands with an orchestra it's kind of background this is integral it's it's together yeah, yeah. that was definitely uh, also the the whole thing you know that yeah, that was that was our have. mission you know to, yeah. to get this and you know that was uh, yeah when when we sat down in Elspe in Germany after this concert we said hey imagine if we would start writing songs especially written for this kind of music you know you put your influences in there and we put our roots in there and then we just get a big ball of power you know and that's what what came out yeah. and uh, everybody is super happy with the result but Peter it's Baltus, unbelievable. but Peter Baltus as well. Sorry, I mean, can you explain the connection there? Peter, Peter, who? Peter Baltus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just try to make a joke. No, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I thought it was mispronouncing his name there for a sec. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this was uh, not planned. I mean, let's say uh, Stephen Kaufman was planned from the beginning on. He was helping us out on the last concert on the guitar. And then that was definitely when he was sitting also with us together, when we were talking about that people maybe want to do an album. And he said, oh, oh, oh I want to be the sound engineer. I have some ideas, you know. He was also really, for him, it was, that was the best concert in his life, you know, really. That, oh, that's really old, old tone oh, on Stephen, on Kaufmann, Stephen Kaufmann. Yeah. And he was like, wow, this is something, you know. Yeah, and then I said, okay, no problem. I mean, I never had any problems with Stephen Kaufmann, so. Yeah, and then uh, one day I was in Germany, he, he said, yeah, you have to do some demo vocals in the studio. And uh, yeah, and then I said, okay, I'll come then. And then I came into the studio, but he didn't told me that before. And Peter Walters was staying there. <laughs> <laughs> surprise. And, uh, what a surprise. What a surprise, <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, he, Peter was there. He was doing some stuff with uh, Stefan about his projects. I mean, Peter, after he left, except he, I don't know, he's doing so many things. Yeah, and then he said we were talking, of, of course, a lot of things, but uh, this is a different story. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, and then Peter said, ah, yeah, you're doing a very interesting project. I heard something of this that mm, I have also some ideas, if you don't mind. I said, hey, Peter, no problem. I mean, we never had a problem. I never had a problem with Peter. And uh, yeah, and then they they came up, Stefan and Peter, they came up with really good ideas. So, you know, it, I'm, I'm not the guy to say no. Nobody can uh, come up with some ideas. I mean, for this project was most important thing that we have really, really good stuff, you yeah. know, and that for me, it doesn't matter who was writing the songs or whatever. That was the most important thing. I mean, I mean, of course, with Peter and Stefan, it's not so far away from my, from, from me. It's like, uh, yeah, that yeah. yeah, uh, was uh, not, not so far away from everything. <laughs> so, yeah, and then, yeah, so that, uh, that was the thing, uh, or the story where, uh, where Peter was enjoying the uh, joint uh, the whole thing, you know. So and he was really happy to do something like this. And also Stefan, I think, is also really happy. And yeah. Stefan did a great job. I mean, he was mixing in the end. Stefan, I don't want to do this. You know, <laughs> it was like no, that's too much. And yeah. So and uh, yeah, and then we had enough songs, and then the whole thing starts. Well, mission accomplished, guys, because the sound is unbelievable. The songs are unbelievable. Who, who's the female singer that uh, is doing such oh, a great job on this album? She uh, uh, she was doing already, I don't know, 40 shows with the, with the orchestra. She the, she was singing there. And, um, yeah, I mean, my wish was to have a, I want to do a duet. Uh, and... Um, then yeah, Guido. Also I think Guido. Guido. Guido was the guy who was yeah. yeah one of the guys who writes the arrangements. He was uh, calling us and saying, "Hey, I got an idea. I know uh, Manuela Markovitz. That's her name, and she lives in Hamburg, Germany. And um, yeah, as my dad said, she she's their live voice basically for some songs, not for all the songs, but uh, she comes up on stage for yeah some songs here and there." And he said, uh, maybe you want to have a listen to her voice. Maybe that fits to to uh, the sort of songs we have. And uh, we got some demos from her, 
and uh, yeah, we were we were blown away by her voice. She's such a great singer, yeah. and uh, I think she will have a, a great career. Yes. And uh, yeah, she was enjoying the project, and um, yeah, was really really good to work with her. Yeah, and also, what uh, also uh, one song was written for her, and the orchestra is blindfold. She did this alone. So that means, you know, the whole thing is not only UDO and the orchestra, it's like more uh, a project, you know. Yeah. Also, the, the uh, orchestra has three instrumental songs on this yeah. album. Yeah. <laughs> of course, there's some guitar playing, also some drums, whatever. But, um, you know, the whole thing is like, for example, it starts with the song Pandemonium with vocals, really heavy stuff, and it ends up also heavy, but without singing. Yeah, we also do a little bit of rapping. A little bit of rapping. I noticed on cha on uh, what is it on uh, on we here we here we go again. A little bit of Udo rap. Oh, yeah. yeah but that was like when we when I did when I did the the the, the, the demo vocals. Uh, my son was calling me and said, "Are you sure you want to do this?" <laughs> and was, in the beginning, it was more rap. You know, yeah. don't ask me why. I mean, it was just. Coming, you know, I was I was singing to the to the demo. It is the song is from the new guitar player, by the way, uh, Fabian Dammer, or called D Dammer, D whatever. And um, yeah, and that was like yes, that's good. Yeah, you know? and then, then it was uh, quite funny because I think you did the the first demo and we had that. Yes. But then uh, there was something where, where they said we need to re-record that. But you were in Ibiza, I, I believe. Was in Spain, yeah. And then. Um, our producer called me and said, hey, Sven, do you have the chance to go into the studio and do some demo vocals? And I said, of course, I'm not far away from Stefan, so I could drive there easily. Uh, so at least have the full song in demo vocals. And uh, yeah, I did that. I drove home. And a couple of days later, our producer called me and said, so you know you're going to do this song together with your dad now? And I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, we ended up doing a vocal duet on this song. And I think um, it's very, very interesting. And I was like, yeah, you you sure you want to do that? Yeah, but you know, it's like it's like a test. It's like a test <laughs> for me, you know, when I stop. Making, you have a new career. Uh, you have a new career yeah, going. And then he, he's switching over from the drum to the vocals. Yeah. You know, so that, 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 no. <laughs> Let's see. Let's yeah, see. You never, never say never. You guys, know, guys, never. what about Metal Heart? Okay, you're playing Metal Heart, or you were supposed to play Metal Heart. Yeah. You know, it's an entirety, right? At the festivals. Is that going to still yeah, happen? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, uh, <laughs> Vacuum is not happened. <laughs> this year, nothing has happened this year. And uh, so we are definitely, definitely already confirmed for next year on Wacken on uh, 2021 with the orchestra. <laughs> we will see if, if we, we do, do it. We have to do it at 30, uh, 36, you 36 know. years of Metal Heart. Yeah, so <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Minus a year. All right. Well, maybe you guys can get the uh, the Armed Forces uh, Orchestra and uh, perform at a drive-in or something like uh, Doro's doing and uh, a few others. That's a bit weird. You know, the stage would, yeah, there would need to be very big so we could fit 85 people on no a stage. You know? yeah. And uh, that, that yeah. would be something interesting, you know. Uh, I mean, we, we were thinking we have lots of offers, you know, at the moment to do these drive-in concerts, but we are spread out over Europe, you know, we come from three different countries and uh, okay. there's like, you know, we can't travel and we can't even come together to practice or whatever, you know, we haven't played together until December, yeah, which I think wouldn't be the problem, but anyway, you know, they just can't leave their country and uh, poof, it's it's tough, you know. Yeah, and also it's impossible about this uh, whole uh, 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 thing to to put an orchestra, you cannot no. put an orchestra always like two meters in between, you oh, know. That's it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean they they are even more fucked with this whole situation because oh, they yeah. are not even allowed to practice because yeah. as he said you know you need to sit away and there's like from a tuba there's all this spit coming out yeah. you know and yeah. they are not allowed to do it. But, but what's, what's your opinion on drive-ins? Just as Udo, just as the band, would you do it? Uh -huh. Of course, we we would we would like to do it. I think it's a, a funny experience. I think it's a bit awkward to see the people flashing their 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 lights and you know <laughs> uh, putting on their horns. But this could also be great feedback, you know. And from what I saw, most of the people are sitting out of the windows anyway, or maybe even in front of the car. And then there were uh, I, I saw one one German band. They they uh, made them do a circle pit with cars. 
which is also <laughs> totally awesome, you know. So I would, I would see to, I, I would love to see that. But as I said, you know, we have a bass player coming from Slovenia, and our guitarist is living in Ukraine, and especially Ukraine, he he could leave the country, I think. But the question is, can he enter again? You know. Yeah. So yeah. therefore, it's it's just impossible. I think it would be a cool. Uh, once in a lifetime event, but uh, to be honest, I'm not very keen. You know, it's the same playing in front of a camera. It's like you know. But we did something creative. We are working already oh, yeah. on the new UDO record. Yeah. So Use don't the waste time. the time. Yeah. Now we have. We are not now not, not with pressure. Now we can really slow working on a new album and uh, also good. Yeah. Do something. Yeah, you also. No, everybody's in okay, the same ahead. boat. There's a lot of uh, people. We they're dying to get back out on the road, but it's it's just not happening. And they're they're yeah. taking the time, like you said, to make sure the albums come out uh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, for us, it's uh, not so funny. You know, our South American tour is now also 2021. America and Canada, but we was planned for middle of November, November until the end, yeah. nearly Christmas. Next year, yeah. hopefully, um, Russia. Russia, uh, big European tour with Halloween. With Halloween you know? you know? Oh <laughs> boy! So yeah. everything. It's a shame, but there's nothing yeah. you can do, and um, it's gonna be interesting anyway. You know, everybody wants to go out next year, so I think there's also like you know, fighting for yeah. for dates. You know, next year oh, because yeah. all the venues are gonna be overbooked because all the bands want to go all, out on the same time. And I and, think uh, also about this this uh, uh, thing, it, uh, we will see which clubs and stuff like that. That's also will, will a survive, big problem. You know? yeah. yeah. What about and, uh, other thing? What about opening up for uh, uh, David Reese opened up for you on a few dates, in, in, yes. uh, for a lot of dates. What about bringing that, that to North America? That'd be very cool. Bringing <laughs> Reese and, and and UDO to America. Well, that'd be yeah. cool. Yeah. We're up for it. Was I, it don't, I don't have a problem. I, uh, I mean, I'm really good friends with with David. You know, we had a lot of fun on this tour. So I mean. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was but that was very uh, interesting and yeah, a nice tour. A you nice know? tour, yeah, very very yeah, nice. Very good, good good guy to talk to and good guy to to spend time with and uh, yeah, that would be fun. Why not? Yeah, throw it in there. Nope. You guys are so you guys are more accept than accept. That's what I find. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. No <laughs> comment. No, no but ahead. hopefully all the fans are saving their money because, like you said, when it when it hits and the floodgates are open, it'll be we'll be inundated with lots and lots of choices. So. Oh yeah, yeah. It's gonna yeah. be very very interesting times next year. Yeah. Who's gonna? Yeah, you know, even even smaller bands. You know, who's gonna survive this time? That's also oh, yeah. a big question. That's and uh, awesome. same with small venues. You know, and if the smaller bands don't have the opportunity to book a small venue. You know, it's all it's called it's all colliding. So um, that's very very tough and yeah, exciting yeah. times. You know, did negative. you miss? Did you miss? Did you, were you happy being with Peter again? Did you miss him for all these years that you haven't been with him? I mean, it was a lot of a lot a lot of uh, fun, you know, to talk to him. And uh, I mean, I never had any problems with Peter. You know, I mean. Um, it was like uh, we, we saw it just yesterday, you know, after 15 years. I saw him after 15 years the first time and then also talking to him after 15 years. Um, yeah, I mean, but um, Peter in a band? Or what you said to be the bass player in UDO? I mean, no. you know, would be cool to play with him once. That's yeah. for sure. You know, I would enjoy it as he's an amazing bassist. But uh, yeah, yeah, but he's doing so many. So he's projects. so busy. Yeah, he's yeah. he's really busy, and we we was not really talking about this. You know, we said, hey, maybe that will be great. Uh, you have you as, now as the bass player, bass player in UDO. Yeah. So he's not in the band. He's not in the band. He's just a songwriter. Leave it, leave it, leave it like it is. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, if he do some stuff and maybe he asked me to sing a song on his album or whatever, what he's doing. I think I heard he's doing a solo album. No problem, but to play 
in a vent together again? It would be so. would be strange as well as we we formed a very strong uh, five pen, five band piece, you know, five piece band, other way around. <laughs> um, and this is a very strong team, you know, and everybody is getting along very well. So that would be a bit strange to you know now just say, hey, but Peter's playing now because he's Peter, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, for, it, for sure, for be, sure. You, you would you would rip apart uh, something we build up, you know, and as you yeah you might know we we was we were looking for the right people for you know some some time now and now it, it works perfectly and everybody is playing uh, yeah make doing amazing jobs you know everybody is so good on their instruments and and we just formed a good band and uh, that would be strange yeah that's uh, you know what that's pretty much it I mean is there anything else you guys like to add. Uh, in regards to what you're doing? I mean, check out the We Are One album, which is coming out on July 17th. Yes, and, uh, definitely. Yeah, we are looking forward to your uh, reactions. We yes. can't wait to put it out and um, yeah, check it out online. Alan? I, I, I just want to say this album is unbelievable. It's my already my favorite from this year. Uh, we do a top 10 list at the end of the year, so I'm anxious to see where it's going to place. But it's going to be very hard to beat because, of, the, like you said, the, the strong songwriting, the great production. There's a lot going on. There's bagpipes even. Hey, what more do you want, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take Thank care. you. It was, a, it was a pleasure to speak to you. Say farewell to the future. Get